Hi there. Today in this recording, I'm going to talk about the relationship between implicit weight and page load weight. Now, all of us know the difference and we also know the definition that we read over the internet. I'll go through the definitions again once. Implicit weight. It specifies the amount of time the driver should wait when searching for an element if it is not immediately present. Searching for an element. So you might have heard about polling. So we keep polling the document object model until uh, unless we find our element. But we've got some limit here. So the amount of time that we define here, it's going to po poll the DOM till that much amount of time. All right. And then what is page load timeout? Sets the amount of time to wait for a page load to complete before throwing an error. So this is the amount of time we mentioned that our code will wait. All right. It will actually allow a page to get loaded on the browser. Now that these are the definitions that we found. Even I have copy pasted from GitHub here. Okay, let's understand the relationship between the two. But before we understand the relationship, and then we look into a few important interview questions, we need to understand a few terms. I just now took or used the term DOM. Now, I'm not going to explain in detail what is DOM, but I'll definitely tell you the definition here. What is DOM? It is Document Object Model. It is an API for valid HTML and well-formed XML documents. It defines the logical structure of documents and the way a document is accessed and manipulated. So the terms that are in bold, they are important. Logical structure of documents and it's the way a document is accessed and manipulated. Now, when we call a web page, we get an HTML, all right? Then this HTML is converted into a DOM. So we get this DOM, we process this DOM. Why? So that we can call or work with the web elements using this DOM. That's the purpose of having DOM. Okay, now this page explains what happens when we load a page? So it is telling you the entire process of loading a page. We'll go through these steps one by one. Number one says initial request link clicked. That means you have just typed in a URL and pressed enter. That means you're calling a URL, a web page. All right, fine. Then what happens? The request over the network goes to the application server at the back end. Okay, and then when it reaches there, your request is processed and then request, I mean, some code will get run. All right. And then you will get the response. So between this, what is happening? This is the web application time. Your application server has got some request. It's going to process that request. That means a certain code will get executed and then this app will return a response to you. Again, over the network, you will get the response. So the browser will receive some HTML in the form of response. Uh, all right. Now, once you get this HTML, this HTML is processed and it is converted into a DOM. Actually, not converted, but a DOM is processed using this HTML. Okay this document object model so that you can access your elements. What should be the way of communication between your code and these elements on the web page? It is DOM. You're going to access and manipulate the elements using this DOM or through this DOM. Okay. So during this DOM processing, this HTML processing gets finished and one event gets fired, which is called DOM content loaded. DOM content loaded. That means your DOM is prepared. Okay. Everything is happening during the page load. So why am I telling you or why am I emphasizing on DOM? Because it has got a lot to do with implicit weight. So we are trying to understand the relationship between implicit weight and page load timeout weight. Okay. So during this page load, DOM is also getting processed and then page rendering starts. 
okay when the page rendering start your window lo load event is fired okay now what I would appreciate is just pause this video okay go through these steps again and then again play the video I'm gonna go to the next slide okay here I've written everything which I just explained you can again pause the video and go through uh, whatever is written here let's go to the next slide now this slide is explaining a few terms and these terms are synchronous and asynchronous it's important from the perspective that we are about to understand the relationship between your implicit weight and page load timeout weight so how are they related we need to first understand synchronous and asynchronous okay now I'm sure you all must be aware that whenever you work with web pages JavaScript has got a huge role okay whatever you see you know on the front end front end it's your HTML it's your CSS and it's your JavaScript okay so when a JavaScript source file is included in a web page via HTML's script tag the loading of the included file is performed to completion before any more of the including page is rendered or executed that's what synchronous loading is now let's understand this your page is getting loaded your page is getting loaded now there are a few script tags within within the within the HTML tag and these script tags are calling some files okay now whenever this happens whenever you get the script tag this processing of including the file or loading the including included file it has to complete first before anything else happens on the page or the page is rendered or executed okay these scripts are supposed to get completed first now let's now this is called synchronous loading and we'll go to the next slide now let's understand what is asynchronous request sometimes however we may specifically want JavaScript source files to load asynchronously so there will still be script tags but we want them to get loaded asynchronously so what do we mean by that that is for our including page to carry on rendering or executing while at the same time loading the specified included file so you're working on a certain page all right it's getting executed or it's getting rendered so while it's getting rendered okay at the same time the specified included file in your JavaScript will also get processed all right we will not wait for the script to get processed alright and then start rendering the page but we will do both the stuff simultaneously alternatively we may wish to include a script source file only after the including page has finished loading and this is again important we may also wish that once my page is rendered or once my page has loaded then you can you know run the script later on okay this may be handy for files from external sources where we don't want our included pages to suffer the consequences of slow connection heavily loaded external servers or waiting for timeouts on external servers that aren't even there at the moment okay now there are in internal uh, these included files and there are external sources now they are like you know um, we've got files that we're calling from some external source and then uh, there are files we're calling from some internal source within the JavaScript so if you want the files from external source to get executed later on once your page has got loaded you've got the option but we need to understand how okay for these cases the HTML script element has the defer and async attributes why am I telling you you actually don't need to get into the intricacies but there is a lot of confusion that I see in my students when it comes to implicit weight and page load timeout weight that's the reason I prepared this recording so that you understand a little bit w about what happens at the back end okay 
For these cases, the HTML script element has the defer and async attributes. So for the script to get processed asynchronously, you will have these two terms or two attributes in your script with your script tag, defer and async. Okay. In short, defer requests that the loading of the specified file occurs after the including page has finished loading and the async request that the loading of the specified files occur concurrently with or at least independently of the including page. So at the least you are not dependent on the processing of this script. You can either work concurrently, all right? or you can let your page get loaded and then call the scripts. So that is asynchronous calling or asynchronous request. All right. Now, the, this is what is about what happens during the page load. Fine. Now, when I say that implicit weight is all about pulling your DOM, pulling your DOM, then what do we mean by that? Is implicit weight applicable when your page is also getting loaded? Because that's what pay, uh, uh, implicit weight is. Pulling your DOM for a certain amount of time at some frequency or at some intervals. Yes. So it could be during that page load also that you're finding your element and polling DOM and it could be after that also page load is definitely having your elements but there will be a few elements which get loaded asynchronously that means when the page is done when the page is loaded some of the scripts some of the elements are coming up later on and that is why we've got implicit weight so if we go back to these um, definitions here it specifies the amount of time the driver should wait when searching for an element if it is not immediately present so we are allowing some time for this element to appear in DOM got this point I hope you now understand it better and what is page load it sets the amount of time to wait for a page load to complete before throwing an error so the page load still happens the page load still happens all right but during the page load this is also working because DOM is getting processed during the page load only right let's go let me see if we've got any other slide no we don't have so if I open up Eclipse here I hope you now understand the meaning of having these two weights here in our code if I'm saying my page load, not 30 seconds, let's say 60 seconds. I'm allowing 60 seconds, so maybe 45 seconds here. So I'm allowing 45 seconds for the page to get loaded. Whenever we'll call a new page, whenever a new page appears on the screen, all right, be it through a link, be it through anything, all right, or be it directly calling, navigating to a page. We are allowing 45 seconds for it to get loaded. But there will still be some elements which will take more than that because they are appearing asynchronously, all right? And what is this? This implicit weight is to find our web elements within DOM so that we can work with them. I hope you now understand the relationship between implicit weight and page load timeout weight. So if you get a question that what is happening to implicit weight while the page is getting loaded, you know the answer now, right? I hope you enjoyed this recording. If you've got any question, please leave your question in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.